Are you looking for a high quality speaker for your Mac? I got five I want to show you that are under $100. Let's go. All right, so if you've watched my videos before, you know what I do. A lot of times I have the product, I have you know, a bunch of old Macs here and I have new Macs, I have everything else. Sometimes though, I just like to show people what's out there as far as product definition. So I'm just gonna show you what can you buy for under $100. And I'm gonna go out and find some really highly rated um, speaker systems for your Mac. And again, these can be for PC also and Mac, but they're really high, you know, high quality speaker systems that are gonna be under that $100 price. And I found five of them to go through today. And these are gonna be more kind of what you call, you know, sound monitors that are gonna be, you know, a little bit higher quality that you can get from just a basic PC type setup that you have next to your, you know, PC computer. But again, we don't wanna break the bank with these. These are gonna be under $100. So I'm gonna do five of those, and then I'm actually gonna have one at the very end that's gonna be what I qual qualify is the best speaker system you can get for actually under $20. So stay tuned for that. That'll be the sixth one I show you. So if you're looking for speakers right now and you're looking for something that look, looks a little bit nicer, um, maybe they have a better finish on them, they have a little bit better sound than you're used to, and they fit your system, your Mac system. You know, maybe you're one of those people that just like the way that everything looks around it. You're kind of into the look and feel of the speakers as well. These five are gonna be for you. And then that sixth one I show you is gonna be for more budget conscious people that want something that sounds really good. It's cheap and uh, you know, it's good enough for most people <laughs> is what I wanna say. So anyway, stay tuned. I'm just gonna go through them, just show you what they look like online. And again, these videos, this is my disclaimer always. Um, it's not a review of them. It's just, you know, these are not reviews. These are just gonna show you what's available. And I also do reviews on my channel. I'll do a ton of them, but this one's not. This one's just gonna show you what's available if you like these kind of videos. Let's go. All right, so we're gonna show you these five different speakers plus that one bonus. Let's get started. So the very first one that I actually recommend, I have a friend that has this one. It's the PreSonus Iris, and this is actually gonna be about 100 bucks, so 99.95. So we're starting up there. I said under 100, this is Amazon Choice. It does have really good reviews, 4.5 uh, out of five. And there's a lot of different sizes of these, but if you can look at these up close, these are actually pretty sharp. I mean, as far as the look and feel of them, I'll show you some better pictures down below here in a second. But they just make your system look a little bit sharper. Um, the backs of them here, they do have the, you know, a line in and out for the left and the right. And they have a couple different settings for the acoustic tuning on the back as well. So, you know, you can definitely check this out, but you have to connect this, the speakers together with a wire and then you connect it into your computer. But they're nice monitor. Now, they're not huge. There's a bunch of different sizes of these. And these are the 3.5 inch, you know, as far as the drivers. So they're three and a half inch, basically. And uh, the frequency is 2.8 kilohertz. So anyways, if we go down here, just to show you a couple more pictures. Uh, here it is. So they, they look pretty sharp again, and they have an aux in and a, a headphone jack on the front, plus the power and a volume button. And, uh, you know, they're going to be a little bit smaller. They have a, you know, well, go ahead and take a look here. You can actually add a subwoofer. They, they're kind of compatible with some other components, but they do have a kind of a, a woofer kind of system in the back that's going to give some bass to it. So they do sound really good without that. Um, but they're kind of a, a whole series of these speakers, and obviously these are the smallest ones and the least expensive from a good name and a good brand. So definitely check these out. Again, and these are the PreSonus Eras, and I'll have links to all this in the description, uh, in my video description, if you want to go ahead and check these out. Number two, um, the, the way you say this is a little bit unusual, but it's the Kiid, I believe, PC computer system. Now, this says PC, but it will work, obviously, with the Mac. The reason this is actually um, what I think is more Mac kind of centric is because of the color. It's aluminum, and it matches like your, your Mac, and I'll show you that in a second. So, But they do, it is basically got an aluminum outside on it that matches like, you know, an iMac or a Mac Mini or something, so it really kind of fits well. And the cool thing with this is it's got a lot of different components going with it, um, but it does have this little system that's got like a, you know, component where you can control the sound but um, it also has a microphone on it too so let me go ahead and show you that in a second but um, anyways long story short these are $79.99 and they have 125 ratings with a 4.4 to 5 so they got pretty good reviews it's got built-in Bluetooth 5.0 also for wireless streaming that's one plus but the other kind of kicker if you go down here to the bottom and we take a look at it it does have a, a little system here, unique uh, touch controller, so you can kind of hit the play button, volume, and things like that. But it has a built-in microphone as well, so, and it also has a headphone jack on this little system here that connects to the speakers. So if you kind of like those extras, like the microphone built-in and things like that, plus you know if you're, you can take audio calls and everything else, it's actually a really good speaker system, and like I said, it is made out of aluminum, so it is going to be that kind of uh, you know matching your Mac system. So check that one out, and uh, that's $79.99. I'll have a link to that as well. So the third one is a great company. It's a Edifier, and that's the R1280T. So the R1280T. 
1280T, I guess you want to say. These are bookshelf speakers. But these are actually really good speakers, very good um, as far as the rating on them, 4.6 out of 5, over 5,000 ratings. You can see these are really kind of um, highly sought after. And they make a bunch of different systems, and I'll show you. They make two probably under 100 bucks, and I'll show you another one by this company. But a lot of their speakers are a lot more money, so you know you're getting you know, a fairly good quality on this system when you actually look at this. Same thing on the back here. You do have you know the right and left in basically for the uh, PC or for the Mac and you have to connect the speakers together. On the side, you do have volume and some treble and bass controls as well. And uh, you can see here as far as what the inside looks like when you uh, take off the front of the, the speakers there. They're just sharp. I mean, again, they're a little bit nicer than what you'd pick up at a Best Buy or something. It does come with a little remote control and some of the cables as well. And they're 100 bucks, $99.99. Um, they make a whole bunch of different speakers. Again, you may not like this wood color, but this is what they look like with the, the front of it on it. Um, and they make some different colors as well, which we can get into in, you know, a little bit later. But for, for now, this is the one I wanted to show you. So check this one out. This is the Edifer R1280T. All right, so the fourth one, let's go ahead. This is another one by Edifier, and this is gonna be a little bit cheaper. This is one of the cheaper ones that they make. It is basically the R980T, and this is our four inch active uh, bookshelf speakers. So if you can take a look at them, they're not as pretty, obviously, you know, with the black front of them and, and the speakers themselves. But obviously, if you take off the fronts, they do look a little bit sharper than what maybe what you'd pick up at a Best Buy or something. Here's the actual input if you wanna take a look at that. It's got volume control, bass control, and it's got the PC right and left, which, you know, you need a cable that connects directly into your audio, and then you can split the cable out between left and right so pretty straightforward here's what the woofers look like as well um, and it uh, does come with some of the cables these are 24 watt total but they do have really good sound on them again this company has a lot of good ratings this is 4.5 out of 5 and over a thousand you know 1059 ratings so they have a lot of questions on here but these are only 69.99 so they're a lot cheaper you know 30 bucks cheaper than the last one I just showed you so if you're looking for, for a, you know they have a whole line of them here as well but if you're looking for a, a kind of a nice cheap pair um, that's gonna go nice next to your Mac Go ahead and take a look at these. These are, you know, adjustable base on them, so they have a couple little features, but it's really good. It comes down to the sound. Um, a lot of people say these have really good sound. These ones I have not personally um, actually heard myself, but I have heard a lot of, um, you know, reviews, and I've watched a lot of videos on them, and people really like them. They're Amazon choice as well. So let's go to the fifth one. And this is kind of a staple. I had to put this one in here. For 99 bucks, you know, if you're looking just for a good high quality sound system for your Mac and you're looking for a good name, the Bose Companion 2 Series 3 multimedia speakers. And these are for, it says for PC again, but it is for the, you know, you can get it obviously for the Mac. They're 99 bucks. Everyone's probably seen these somewhere once, you know, they have a little bass thing in the back. Um, you know, they have from computer right speaker. They, they have all the kind of aux in and just basic kind of connections, nothing, nothing special on the back of it. And they don't look that fancy, but you can see how they would look here next to a system. But this one comes down to the sound. The sound is really good. You know, obviously Bose has always been a good name. And, uh, you know, just pick these up if you're looking for something that's going to be, you know, something that you can just trust true with the sound. Um, 5,800 ratings and 4.5 out of 5, so very few problems with these. So I, it's just something I recommend. I definitely have a pair of these um, on my PC setup. I moved recently. I don't have it set up yet. But these are something that I use as one of my staples. All right, so let's go to the one that I wanted to say, under 20 bucks, what is the best speaker you can actually get? And uh, here we go. So these are the Creative Pebble 2.0 USB powered speakers. And these are gonna have with, you know, they say far field drivers and passive radiators, but long story short, they're kind of cool because they're white. The way that they sit up kind of like this as well, they don't have any screens on them. They look like interesting. They're only $20 though. And uh, I've watched a lot of videos on these. I've heard these personally in the store. I've, I've, I've just have not purchased them yet. I'm going to, I think. Um, 9,100 ratings, you know, it's got a 4.5 out of five. So not, almost 10,000 people have rated this and they all tend to like it. So it's really good sound. It does have, again, you can get it in black and gold, which is nice. You can get it in the white and gold. Um, it does have a volume control there. And it's got like a bass driver on the back. You can see it there. It's a uh, 4.4 inches, the actual speaker itself, or the actual size, not the speaker, but the size of this actual, you know, plastic around it. But it does have that driver in the back. And then they have the woofer in the front. So it does it does do fairly good bass from when I heard it. And it's, you know, it comes in a really small package. They call it the Pebble. You can see the Pebbles here. And here's the different colors and things like that. But it's just, see if you look over here, this is kind of a, kind of a cool looking speaker for $20. So just wanted to throw that one in there if you're looking for a really, really cheap, inexpensive, high quality speaker. All right, so what did you think? Not too bad. So like I said, I always look, you know, when you go to Best Buy or you go to like Walmart or something, they always seem like you have only Logitech choices or you only have certain types of manufacturers that sell those companies. 
and uh, they're usually PC based or they look better close to a PC as far as the, the fit and finish of them. But if you're into Macs and Apple computers, these five that I want to show you, even that sixth one, they're going to look pretty sharp next to your system. And uh, you know, with the ratings that they get, and I've heard a couple of them personally, you know, I have a couple of friends that have one or two of these. They sound really good also, and you can, you know, press the reviews. Also, you know, you never know. Check them out, you can always return them. But it's just something a little bit nicer than you might be able to get like at a Best Buy or something. And, uh, or a little bit, you know, different, I guess is what I'm trying to say, that kind of matches your Mac setup a little bit better. So if you're interested in this kind of stuff, you know, definitely subscribe to my channel. I make videos on all types of stuff. I do a lot of reviews of products where I have it in-house. Check out my channel. I also have a bunch of, you know, old Macs and stuff in my house that I actually do projects on. But then I do these videos just pointing to Amazon and just showing people. Instead of, you know, you sitting there and looking for stuff, just want to show you what's out there. And this is all this is right now. So anyways, if you guys can click the like button and help me out, it would definitely help me grow the channel. I will talk to you soon. I do maybe, now I'm doing about three to four videos a week and uh, people like the content so they keep you know telling me to post more and i'm doing that so if you can click the like button to help me out i'll keep going talk to you soon peace